Okay, g'day and welcome to Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. This is a team game in the 2 2 series, uh, minimalize organized. This is Regile and Butterhawk versus Boxeroo and Angel of Death. Uh, up here in the top we've got Regile and Butterhawk, where we've got Aeon and Cybran, so both floaty floaty factions and down here we've got Angel of Death on on Seraphim and Boxer going Aeon so unsurprisingly they're do thinking exactly the same thing we've got a bunch of uh, defensive structures around here in the centre so that's probably something to um, avoid as you're moving around uh, we've got a first NG out to get that all important um, first hydro. Um, what have we What have we got queued up here? Assist the hydro. Looks good. And then air. But Regile is heading straight over to try and claim that all important wreck in the middle of the um, opposing team's base. Will he make it? This is going to be an interesting little gambit. Boxer, sorry, Butterhawk is getting the Hydro up and now starting to work on a line of power gens because, let's face it, air factories take a lot of power. And we're going to go to plus one game speed here just to speed things up a bit in the opening. I've got a, a bunch of reclaim has no, they they haven't re um, haven't prioritised that re reclaim and Butterhawk is so Regile is making his way there. So it's possible that these two NGs won't get it in time or will get it in time. Got some scouting heading out and. If they're really lucky, they've just seen Butterhawk. So Regile. Yep, they definitely know something is there, and it's moving slow enough that it could be a commander. So they probably yep, they've scouted it and noticed it. And we've got the engineers moving away, probably because Boxer was overflowing mass. So let's see if they can... yep, they're back and they're nearly done getting that wreck. So it's a great idea, Regile, but I'm not sure it's going to work. And we've got a commander inbound on that to start laying down some fire on that commander who is going to head away. Got an early bomber out from Team 1, let's see what it can spot. Can it actually find an engineer? It can find the power though, so that might be a good secondary target, and it's already got some NTs on it. We've got a bit of scouting going on from uh, Team 2 down the bottom here, um, and Team 2 has also sent its I sent an engineer out to claim those mass extractors, so that's a pretty good tactic. We've got one engineer building the all-important first um, navy factory, and another engineer to claim some mass, and we've already got the host of floaty spam coming out to, t uh, to um, the south side. So this is going to be interesting. Let's see how they play this um, could be really good have they actually got any radar up yeah they have actually got radar so they can see it they've scouted it they know it's there they can see the other coming in so they're aware that there's floating units coming their way the question is what are they doing to send attacks elsewhere 
because that we're not seeing any we've got a drop coming in here which is pretty neat is it going to where is it going to go it's just arrived in time to be demolished by the commander so that's a bit of a disappointment they've got lots and lots of spam coming their way so it's going to be very hard to push back against the um, that and we've got a bit of spam building up on the beach um, which should be able to pick off those Zooey's if they're lucky. If they can get T2 in time then they can basically destroy all of those um, units but do they have the power and mass for it? Angel's gonna, is currently running out of mass and they're working way outside their sight range on those so good luck to them um, but Regile is heading back into the water which is interesting you know, I'd, I would have um, put a couple of mass extractors on there just to keep them from getting them. so now we've finally got some engagement Team 1 has pushed in and yep they're denying the um, T2 point defence which is a good plan. We've got a couple of beacon frigates over here they'll be able to um, hit things on land too um, if we're lucky uh, but it looks like Boxer has the gun range upgrade so that's going to shoo a few things off if they've got sight on them can Angel of Death get a PD up in time he's got a lot of um, he's got a lot of spam there but it's all going around him got a couple of um, factories here. We're building a torpedo launcher to try and get rid of that submarine. We've got scouts heading north so the team two is at least aware of what's going on and bringing a host of units back in. Why? Uh, is that that's a ghetto gunship. Nice one. Is that going to survive against the um, the anti-air? It's certainly not going to survive against that air force, so that's going to be a bit of a disappointment. That T2 point defence is going to keep the um, the T1 spam nicely at arm's length if they've got radar on it, which they do, so that's a good sign. But what is Team 2's plan here? What are they doing? What are we building, gents? We've got a Tech 2 naval factory going up, already building a destroyer. Once that gets around, that's going to be a bit hard to dislodge. Um, probably going to see most of that die. I suppose that's not in range, but there, there you go. Yep, not in range. Um, and we've lost the factory, but we do have a sonar, and we did get rid of the, the sub there, so that's kind of a win. Um, Regile has set up base here, he hasn't built anything to give himself visibility, like, say, a factory for an engineer. Uh, so he's kind of running blind there. Uh, but we'll see what they make of it. Can Team 2 pull something out of the box for a surprise for T Team 1? We're halfway to getting that destroyer up online. Team 2 is certainly dealing with most of the um, aggression there. K 
can that chunk of spam I really wouldn't be bothering with sending more of that into the face of Tech 2 point defense um, but they're probably going to be able to pick up off a spare engineer wandering around there just out of random um, chance Do we have an asu a submarine queued up? Ooh, but we do have a gunship and that's going to get rid of a lot of the stuff over on this island. Regile is heading back to pick up some spam here. Is he going to be targeted by the, the point defence? Yes, he is. So not that's not going to work for you. And his little encampment down here is going to be quickly destroyed, so um, Boxer is sending over some... We've got... Is that air going to come over? No, it's changed its mind, so we've now got the destroyer online with a frigate and a shield generator, which is a nice combination. bit of a pause there. Good work. Now that they've sorted that out, are we going to see... Yep, the destroyer is getting to work, but it's got no air support. It really needs that shield in place, otherwise it's going to be short-lived. The frigates are coming in to deal with some of that T1 spam and the destroyer is submerged so that's going to make it hard to hit um, and it's also going to give it a good advantage against those destroyers. Still more spam but looks like um, Regile has finally realised that he doesn't need to send a lot of that over there so he's paused those factories. He has managed to hoover up that that mass there, which is a pretty good effort. Um, and it's certainly going to be disappointing for those gunships to be in range of the the um, T2 um, air cleaners. So watch out for that. But this is the right attitude. Send in the cruisers with missiles. Um, in this, on this map, I suppose I'd probably end up. It, I'd probably be tempted to play UEF just to um, take advantage of the missile boats. Um, naturally, the teams have done well to put missile defence all along the shore in preparation for that. So the question is, what's their big plan? We've got a bit of bit more action happening with this. T2 mobile def defense. We've got the destroyer lining up now. Uh, it's able to pretty much nuke those uh, those light auroras without much trouble. And the cruiser is taking care of the um, all the defenses on that center island. So that might be a useful bit of reclaim there once it's defeated. Okay, now Angel of Death is heading out with some Zooies. What can he get done? We're taking up, getting getting more power generators, and looks like we're building a naval factory there, but I think that's going to be hard to defend given the um, amount of um, spam floating on the water that's coming against them. The Zooies are clustered over in here and um, being a bit better microed by, looks like, by um, Angel of Death. Maybe he needs to send those down to his teammate here and uh, get some uh, work done on that destroyer, uh, which really needs a bit of um, 
torpedo defence as well to um, to keep it at bay. The gunships are going to be quickly disposed of by that cruiser as well, so that was a bad idea. Bit of scouting coming in, and we've got a bit of a T2 combat air force going together here. And interestingly, it looks like Team 2 is actually repelling Team 1 from the southern part of the ocean. So that's a kind of interesting development. Uh, would not have expected that. We've still got this amusing uh, torpedo la launcher there, just for general rolls. Uh, I wonder what's going to happen to that. The cruiser is still just in range and it's going to be picking things off if they don't move. Now the destroyer being brought in but it's going to take a long time to um, break through those shields especially if it doesn't focus one of them. Um, and especially if it's going into the rock which is just not going to give in. Okay Another push down here. Sending some scouts up to see what they can see. But of course, while the um, cruisers do great damage um, in area of effect, they are not very good at actually leading their target. So they're really not going to get much done there. Um, So, what are we up to? Regile has started his T1 arty spam again. I thought he'd learnt the better of that. They're definitely getting something done here. Um, looks like they're getting doing um, more destroyers. Bit of an air engagement here to take out the um, a land spam to take out the um, the auroras and um, then gunships to take out the land spam and then air force to take out the gunships and here comes the other air force so it's just all round and round and round she goes and where she stops nobody knows. The destroyer is finally getting something done over there. Um, and we've got another destroyer here. If that was protected a bit, it could nearly get a, another veterancy in there somewhere. But um, we're going to have to wait and see with that. Meanwhile, we've got a bit of an army coming together. Good pinged on a juicy bit of reclaim in the southern ocean there. The um, attack missile defence is going to be working over time to try and keep these cruisers at bay. Can the exoduses get up there and start harassing this navy? The Exoduses will actually outrange the destroyers of the Seraphim. That got cleared out. And surprisingly enough, the um, point defence isn't doing very much about, about that, but uh, seemed to be activated there finally. Okay, Exoduses get in range. Do we have the amount, enough support for them to defend them. It doesn't look like it. They've got... They, we've taken out one destroyer already, but we've, that's a pretty even trade, and then we've got uh, two more destroyers there easily taking care of the southern force. Bad decision to send that uh, those gunships up there. Um, and look at that, we've got a Tech 3 submarine. That is interesting. What are we building now? Looks like a Tech 3 destroyer. So, 
Regile is definitely doing well in the total mass. He's getting his low lowest in mass, but he does have a tech three factory, so he's probably stalling hard, isn't he? Yep, look at that. Okay. That submarine hunter is doing good work down there seems to be it's going to have a bit of a problem if the only thing it's got to shoot at is um, things that float on the water but it doesn't it's got a bunch of other things to play with and it's having fun we just need a lot more submarines to take that out I think that's going to be a pretty good card in the hand. Got a lot more effort going into that T3 destroyer and though it looks like Team 2 is regaining that, can they actually capitalize on that? We've got engineers immediately sent in to um, hoover up that mass. The engineers aren't going to be picked off by the sub but the in the uh, they are well in range of the destroyers, so can they do much about that? Nope. There's another Tech 2 destroyer. So that's going to be pretty devastating there. Now we have the battleship online. The battleship's going to be good to take out some of those big targets like the destroyers it's going to have a bit more difficulty trying to target the, um, the low units but it also looks like it's managed we've got a bit of a run by going on here and that's going to severely upset uh, Regile's plans if he's trying to um, keep his base intact they don't seem to be targeting power they seem to be just on a general rampage they've got um, tech 3 so tech 2 blazers after them which will be quite easily as fast but meanwhile it's going to be this battleship that dominates the ocean here um, we've got a horde of tech 2 navy and um, hover coming in and that's going to be very bad news for everything coming this way. So what's Team 2's plan here? What are they building? Oh, they're doing a bunch of upgrades at the moment. It looks like they're going to be struggling with that. And interestingly, so far, um, uh, we're seeing a lot of good destruction raining down on this, and there's probably a lot of good reclaim there. Look at all that. And a big reclaim field here. Not seeing any engineers coming down. If Regile was um, needing mass, and he's no longer needing mass, but if he was, then that would be the place to find it. some destroyers going down here. The battleship is easily in range of the um, the land and it's going to start picking off those T2 defences pretty quickly. Two submarines, one of them badly damaged, that just gets taken down in time. It's a bit of a shame, really. Bit of a hero unit, that one. But it's looking bad for Team 2 here. They've um, had their run by, that's been and gone. Um, they've got Team 1 well into the Southern, Southern Ocean with a battleship that's just going to be impossible to dislodge. 
and unless they're planning on pulling out some amazing air strike I don't give them a lot of hope at this point so what's our plan gentlemen what are we building well the battleship is well in range factory is going down left right and centre got a desperate bid for um, mass over here and a really odd f unit composition we've got half auroras and half air so I don't know what they're de defending against there second battleship online what are, what's the next order of thing well it's a third battleship so that's not going to go away anytime soon and now the tech missiles um, have started from the cruisers and though Aeon um, defense is good it's just not really in the right place and it's uh, just gonna have um, hard time picking that up but uh, I think they're going to have a lot more problems with these two battleships here so what do we have we've got some torp bombers that's a promising idea I don't think one of them is going to take down an entire battleship in one go especially not as it has flak um, flak on board And yep, that got toasted pretty quickly. Got a small collection of units trying to sneak in, possibly through some kind of thermal exhaust port, to um, take out the battleships. I really don't give them a lot of um, uh, chance there. These guys are going to go a bit too close to that and just be toasted on the way through, I'd wager. No? maybe they've got away with it that's pretty good really needs to just target that there's that third battleship online and what are we playing here well it looks like a submarine I'd say So that's been comprehensively wiped from the map. That's been comprehensively wiped from the map. We've got two destroyers merrily uh, shooting things that can't be di diverted by attack missile defence. And they're just having a great day. A few torpedo bombers really aren't going to um, cause them that many problems. In some ways, I wouldn't even be bothering with um, sending the Air Force out of after them because they can probably ca take care of themselves. We do have a sneaky drop, though. Look at that. I didn't spot that. I wonder how he did that. I'll have to go back and watch the replay. Is he going to get anywhere? He's got too much army here. Um on his tail to really get much done. He possibly needs to be targeting power, but there's no really good power up here. Um, and instead we've got the naval engagement already, or the, the uh, floaty units already going on land. We've got battleships tearing things hither and yon. We've got a gunship taking things out there, that's a pretty beefy shield, it looks like both, no, just, uh, maybe both shields, yep. Um, but they're just going to wear him down. And, I don't know, I 
thought I saw an Awasa some being built somewhere, but that was a bit premature. Um, too much air force to make to get rid of that. And now the shield is gone. And we're going to spend too much time walking around trying trying to find something to kill. Looks like they didn't know to know that uh, both commanders were down here. Um, and it'd be a kind of amusing own goal if um, that battleship was able to take out uh, Butterhawk's defences there. So that'd be kind of amusing. Um, looks like he might. He's trying to get back into the ocean, but I don't know if he's going to get there. Uh, and then he'll still have a 2 verse 1 um, yep he's managed to get into the ocean what's he going to do now and yep they've already got a destroyer with torpedoes on him so he's can't go in and he can't go out. And we see a set of good game. See, good game being called. Uh, it's a pretty good effort by Team Two. Um, I like their, I like Team One's cheeky play for the reclaim down here. That was kind of amusing. Um, I think they could have used their spam bit better there rather than sending lots of it down to do basically nothing um, and it's possible that frigates would have been a better choice at that point but good game all round and thank you for watching